Hey guys, just want to do a quick video. Um, so I decided to start outfitting my pickup truck, the one ton dually. Uh, now I've got these, um, they're called truck vault. I got them used and they're about, um, I don't know, like about eight years old or whatever, but they're meant to be outside all the time. And the only thing wrong with it, well, it's going to be covered with a uh, cap. I got a nice cap I'm going to be putting on Saturday. But the uh, line X looks like it's, see, it's really the only thing. I'm just going to cut that off with a razor blade because it's going to be used, you know, never going to be outside again. So, pretty cool. Now, these drawers, man, they go, I have an eight-foot bed. They go all the way in. You know, it's nice. Um, let me show you the drawers. So, um, got them over here. Um just so heavy that I had to take them out to uh, be able to pull the, uh, you know, pull that unit out to work on it. Let me show you what I got planned. So, uh, it's got nice, these are nice. They're heavy, They're but they're big. It's like 14 inches on the inside, I think. Uh, maybe 13. But uh, 16 inches total, this thing is 16 inches from top to bottom. And uh, what I want to do now, see how it's got this, it's got like a 4x4 four four skid. Yeah, something like that. I don't know if you can see that underneath there. Anyway, I'm going to cut it, I'm going to take it off or cut it down so I can drop this down a little more. Because, I don't know if you can see, from here, from this height, to the top of my rail, um... I'm putting a cap on this uh, truck, and what I'm doing also, so I've got the truck vault. I, I'm ordering parts. These rollers are replaceable. I'm going to replace them and the plastic skids on the corners of the drawers. But I also got this, um, it's called a Cargo Glide 2000 XL or XL 2000. Um, eight foot slide out. Uh, it's a full eight foot slide out to it. You know, it's meant to uh, <laughs> pull out the whole eight feet, man. It's crazy. So, I had to cover it up because uh, because it was uh, raining yesterday a little bit. That's the, bo the bottom part. So, that's the bottom. I'll go around. You just uh, flick that lever. So it's Cargo Glide CG 2000 XL. Got this used also. Guy had it in his van. So I may have to cut this down on the sides, uh, inch and a quarter on either side, because the cap that I have, I'll throw it up on the video. I'll be putting this video up today, so I'm not getting the cap till Saturday. Um, I'm doing all this work to get ready for the cap. So, um, inside, the cap is big. So steel, heavy, heavy duty, redding, uh, steel body, or, you know, topper. Um, so the sides, you know how it has the, the doors on the side of the cap? They're going to be coming in. So, I measured it. It's 46 inches. It's, you know, it's better than, uh, I mean, it's not as good. I wish it was wider, but at the same time, it's good to have that wide of a drawer or a compartment on the side of your cap, you know. Be able to fit decent-sized tools there. But uh, if I can't drop this down enough, which I don't think I'm going to be able to, to do it. But, you know, I think even if I have to cut the top down, still, even by... I might just cut the skid down like half halfway. Then... Because if I'm not going to clear the cap um, compartments anyway, I might as well leave some underneath here for support. So that, uh, just for support, you know. But, um, what was I saying? So when I put the cargo glide, see that takes up a lot of space. It's like six and a half inches almost. Um, but the cap, even with that... 
I measured from the top of the truck rails to the top of the door on the cap. It's like 30 inches. So if I get that down as far as possible, I'm thinking I'm going to have around 28 inches, maybe 27 uh, height. So, I mean, that's good enough for, for me to carry like table saw, chop saw, that kind of thing up here on the slide. And I'll be able to pull it out, you know, for act, full access. And then these uh, drawers, I mean, you could fit so many things in there. Uh, cir you know, circular saw, nail guns, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and it just, yeah, it's going to be nice. So some people say, you know, why are you going to fill up your whole truck with, uh, like, you're not, you, you're not able to put anything in here then, right? But the whole time I've been using my van, the only... The only thing I've ever had to throw in there is like water heater, you know. Um, I may not be able to, I think I could fit a water heater still. I'm going to be able to. I uh, won't be able to put a stove or a dish, whatever. I don't care because, you know, I have trailers for that. I'll just bring the trailer that day. Um, or, yeah, I, I have also have like a hitch uh, cargo carrier I could use. But, um, so I have that big trailer there. Well, I don't plan on using that, but you know, for for what I just said. But uh, I have a small four by eight trailer I can throw on here, or I have uh, I have the dump trailers. Those are high sides. Basically, it's like a utility trailer anyway. Uh, I have three of those trailers, so I always have you know I always something here. And uh, honestly, if they were out all the time, like my dump trailers were out, then I would just buy another trailer. Maybe another smaller, you know, 6x12 or something like that. But uh, I got new tires. They're Falk, Falcon. Um, I think I went with 235. Sorry. Looking for the um, the size on here. Uh, what a LT 235 85R16. Yeah. Stock wheelies, or steelies. Um, front and back, you know. The Falcons are really good uh, bang for your buck, you know. But uh, the truck's looking good. I didn't clean it yet. But uh, hey, what's up, Kevin? <laughs> um, I cleaned the interior really good. I kind of I detailed it. Um, I just got a vacuum in again because we were eating popcorn the other night. But I got these uh, rigid box or crates in the back. and Yeah, anyway, so I'm keeping the van. But, oh, there's my license plate. I'm going to have to block it out. Anyway, I'm keeping the van. Um, actually, I don't care about that plate. <laughs> There's my business. Um, I got a new toy. I just put new tires on here too. Continental uh, Extreme Contact. These tires were like the last ones in the whole country. I had a... Uh, this is a 95 Corvette, but I had a, a 91 about seven years ago. And uh, this one's got black interior. The other one, uh, so this one had, I can't really see it that good, but it's in great shape. It's got a six speed. Um, it's, uh, you know, 350 LT1. 350 LT1, uh, 80, 82,000 miles. Transmission is going to need to be rebuilt, but I could still drive it. It's actually just popping out of first gear sometimes, but I figured out how to keep it from doing that. So, um, but anyway, just showing you kind of like an update what's going on. I'm working on this today, it's Thursday, because. I am uh, getting my cap. Now, 
originally I wanted to have all this done before the cap, have it all installed, but I'm thinking I'm thinking I don't want that now because when I do the cap, I'd rather be able to get um, underneath here. I want to use see these pockets right here. There's holes at the bottom. I'm thinking about through bolting all the way through. So I'm going to need like six inch screws. Um, but the ends here, I don't think I can get. I don't think. Let me see. Yeah, I can't do that there, but I just, I don't want to have to, I don't want to drill through the sides. What do you call it? Through the rail? And eh, maybe I'll just do that. Um, let me show you what I got. Oops. So, I've got these heavy duty um, rib nuts. They're, uh, well, they're 5, five sixteenths. Yeah, they should be 5 16 Yeah. But these are heavy-duty ones. I got two packs. One's a regular steel. Anyway, um, probably going to need more of these. Probably, yeah, I'll be fine. I got ten, two, two bags of 10 each. You see them? Sorry, I don't know if I got it in the video a few seconds ago. They're riv nuts. They're like rivets, but they put threads in. You got to drill a half-inch hole those to work but um I might as well just drill right through because it's I've got dents on here it was like that when I got it I didn't see because I had a diamond plate top on here so I, th I think I'm never gonna like while I own this truck I'm never gonna take the cap off so uh, I'll either sell the truck I'll probably sell the truck with the cap on it if I ever because uh, eventually I'm gonna be getting a newer truck but um this thing's only got 128,000 miles on the whole truck and about 20,000 miles on the engine, a new Jasper motor. So um, I just drill through, what the heck, right? Because then, like I said, it's not new, it's a 98. It's got some rust on it underneath, not bad. It's really, actually really good, but what's a couple of holes, right? And then you can put those, say diamond plate on the other side. If I, you know what I mean? You're just going to cover them up anyway, so no big deal. Anyway, that's the video, guys. Stay tuned. I will uh, post another video when I get it all put together. Peace.